Welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. As I'm parting out this very rusty 1987 Toyota pickup, it's worth taking a minute to explain why the beds on these trucks always rust out and what can be done to prevent the rust from starting in the first place. So instead of being one solid piece like the side of the cab, the bedside is actually made out of two pieces. And there's what's left of the seam where the two pieces meet. The seam is prone to rust due to a design flaw that I'll show in a minute. But as you can see, these beds do not hold up to moisture and especially road salt. Toyota changed the bed sides to one piece starting in 1989. So instead of rusting out from the center seam where the two panels join, they rust up from the bottom like a normal truck bed. Although, I had an 89 with a rust hole in a similar spot as this bed, so I'm not sure how much that revised bed design helped. And over here on the driver's side, you can see the rust is just as bad. If not worse. The bed floor used to extend all the way to the bed seam before Ohio winters happened. The inside of the bed has these removable panels. And you can see, they are not sealed on the bottom. So water, salt, dirt gets trapped behind here and holds moisture on all these spot welded seams. And that causes these beds to start rusting from the inside out. Rust can be eating away back here for a long time. And by the time it makes its way to the outside, and you see those first couple of rust bubbles under the paint at the seam? It's already too late. So while the panels do protect cargo from denting the bed from the inside, the previous generations didn't have these panels. They do hold a lot of debris inside and mouse nests. Although I'm sure they wouldn't have gotten in here if it weren't for the holes from the seam rotting away. And it's not just the bedsides that are multiple pieces. The entire floor is made from multiple pieces. Right here, this wheel well is one piece. And it's spot welded and seam sealed together. There's a ribbed piece here and a huge ribbed piece in the center. All attached with spot welds and seam sealer. This front wall bolts on the sides and is spot welded across the lower front. And there's another section on the back. Starts here and goes around under the tailgate. And here's the seam sealer. But once rust starts, it's worthless. Everywhere the rust is bad in this bed was once protected with seam sealer. And someone tried to cover up the rust with fiberglass at some point. But we can see that was only a temporary band-aid. So if you have an 84 to 88 truck, pull these panels off and check for rust back there. Clean back there and consider spraying fluid film or something similar before putting the covers back on. And definitely spray the wheel well and underside of the bed as well. You'll want to use a product that can creep into seams and spot welds. I recently uploaded a video on how I protect my Land Cruiser from rust using fluid film. I'll have links to that in the description. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage.